Woodpeckers winter where it's cold. And they'll manage to dig insect larvae out of tree bark in January, but they can't subsist just on insects. They also eat nuts, suet, berries, seeds. Did I leave anything out? Now the flicker avoids the harshest winters. Unlike other woodpeckers, he migrates. At least those who live far north go further south. Even so, his diet is as varied as theirs is. And like them, he's equipped to stand on vertical trunks and hop up them, despite the fact that he gets most of his food on the ground instead of from pecking on bark. And despite the fact that he's more likely than the others to sit on a horizontal branch. All woodpeckers have adaptations that enable them to stand upright on vertical trunks. Whereas most birds have three front toes and one back toe, useful for gripping small horizontal limbs, woodpeckers have two front and two back toes with nails sharp enough to puncture bark to make standing erect possible. And they have stiff tail feathers, which they use as a brace. So, okay, flickers may not be tree huggers all that much when they're gathering food. In fact, author Pete Dunn notes that they often confound non-birders by foraging on suburban lawns and having the temerity not to be robins. Nevertheless, they certainly stand erect on tree trunks when they're advertising for mates. They start by calling a loud, prolonged stutter, like really prolonged. He can keep it up past the point when you'd think he needed a breath because, like many other birds, he has several extra air sacs that can be used to support the call. So he rants on and on. Woodpeckers aren't into fluffy courtship. All male woodpeckers woo with a staccato improv routine. Think hot car with the engine revving. But flickers boost that improv riff to new heights. Think rock star, heavy metal, literally. Every spring, woodpeckers are the percussion section of the orchestra. But only flickers include crash cymbals in their drum sets. Flickers are more than just large, showy birds. They're special because they leave the environment better off for their passing. Now, you might resent the way they hammer into your siding, but know that when they do, it's a possible sign of carpenter ants or termites. And even if it isn't, the harm they do there is outweighed by the nests they dig in trees because they don't reuse those nesting holes. And those are sites later used by bluebirds and tree swallows, sometimes even great horned owls. Of course, the flicker doesn't mean to be altruistic when he abandons a nest. Maybe he just likes the smell of fresh sawdust when he's starting a new family. <laughs>